Are you an English learner who wants to improve their communication skills in meetings and discussions? Well, luckily you're in the right place. In this video today, we're going to go over 20 powerful interjections that you can use in meetings and discussions. Let's go. Number one, can I just check I've understood you correctly? This phrase is perfect for confirming your understanding of what someone has just said. It shows that you're actively listening and engaged in the conversation. Two, can I just say something? This interjection is useful when you have something to contribute to the conversation. It shows you have something you'd like to say, and maybe you'd like to share your thoughts, ideas, opinions, examples, or anything else that's on your mind. Three, I'm not familiar with, can someone help me? If you encounter a word or concept that you're unfamiliar with, this phrase can help you seek clarification from others. It shows you're eager to learn more about the subject and are open to feedback on it. It's also really useful if you are in a new environment or you need to know how to do something for your job. Number four, but this interjection can be used to introduce an alternative point of view or to disagree with something that's been said. It shows you're actively engaging with the conversation and you're not just passively listening. Five, what exactly do you mean by if someone says something that you don't fully understand? This phrase is a great way to ask and seek clarification. It shows you're attentive and interested in understanding the conversation and knowing the exact meaning or purpose of what is being spoken. Number six. Can I just stop you for a second? This interjection can be used when you need to interrupt someone who's speaking. It shows you respect the other person's time, but also that you have something important that you'd like to add to the conversation or discussion. Seven. Okay, I understood almost everything, but not the last bit. So this phrase can be used when you're following the conversation, but you need to clarify the last point spoken. It shows you're engaged and you're actively seeking to understand the entire conversation. Eight, would you mind speaking a little more slowly, please? I'm having trouble keeping up. If you're having some difficulty following a conversation, this phrase can help you communicate your need for the speaker to slow down. It shows you're invested in the conversation and want to participate fully. Nine. Sorry to interrupt, but this phrase is great to politely interrupt someone who's speaking and then show your opinion or your disagreement. This is a respectful way to do this and also shows that you have something that you would like to contribute to the conversation. 10. Sorry, I didn't catch the last word. If you missed something that was said, this is, is a polite way to ask for clarification on it. It shows that you want to understand everything correctly and you might just have missed the last word or phrase. 11. Sorry, I'm not sure I've... This phrase can be used when you need to backtrack in a conversation to clarify a key point. It shows you're invested in the conversation and want to make sure you're accurately representing your thoughts and ideas. 12. Sorry, you've, you've totally lost me. To what are you referring? If you become really lost in the conversation or you're unsure of what's being discussed, this phrase can help you get the clarification you've received. 13. Let me play devil's advocate for a moment. This phrase means you're going to take the opposite view or position to one that's being presented. You might use this phrase when you want to explore an idea more fully or if you feel that there are arguments that haven't been considered yet. 14. That's a bit beyond me. Could you explain it more simply? This phrase is a polite way to ask someone to explain something more simply or in more basic terms. You might use this phrase if you're struggling to understand a complex idea or concept. 15. Hang on a second. I'm not quite following you. This phrase means you're having difficulty following what someone is saying. You might use this phrase if someone's speaking too quickly using unfamiliar vocabulary, or jumping between ideas too quickly for you to keep up. 16. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch your name. This phrase is used politely to ask someone to repeat their name. 
it can be really embarrassing to ask someone for their name more than once, so it's important to get it right the first time. 17. To be honest, I'm not sure I agree with you. This phrase is a polite way to express disagreement or a different opinion. It can be used when you want to express an alternative viewpoint without being confrontational or aggressive. 18. That's a fair point, but have you considered? This phrase is a polite way to acknowledge someone's point of view, while also suggesting an alternative perspective. It can be used to encourage discussion and debate without shutting down other people's views. 19. Sorry, I'm still not quite clear on that. This phrase means you need to explain something with more information or clarify a topic. You might use this phrase if someone has explained something, but you're still not completely sure you understand it. 20. Hold on. Let me think about that for a moment. This phrase is used when you need time to consider or process what someone said. It can be useful when you're trying to understand a complex idea or argument. So, overall, these interjections can help English learners improve their communication skills in a lot of different contexts. By using these phrases, you can show you're engaged, interested, and eager to understand and participate in conversations, meetings, and discussions. So what interjections and phrases do you use in your meetings and discussions? Feel free to comment below. And if you found this useful, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at expertenglish.solutions or visit the website expertenglish.solutions to find out more. See you in the next video.